All right, time for one of our favorite segments, rings and chains. We'll take a look at a couple of topics. We'll decide if it's going to be a ring or a chain. Are you ready? I'm ready, Joe. All right, here comes uh, the first question for Miami and App State, offense and defense. The offense scores a touchdown first, or the defense records a sack first. Now, some of that could depend on the coin toss. It could, but I'm going to go with the offense scores a TD first because I believe App State's going to come out and run that football time and time again. So it'll be hard to return. It's hard to get a sack if they're running the ball. Okay, I'm going to go ring as well. I think the the Hurricanes will score a touchdown first before they get their first sack because I think this time they're going to win the coin toss and elect to receive and march it right down the field. All right, here comes the uh, the second one: ring or chain. The offense scores more touchdowns in the first quarter. The defense forces more turnovers in the first half. Hmm. I'd like to have the turnovers, but I think it's going to be the touchdowns. I'm going with the rings again. I think it's the offense. I'm going to go uh, chain on this mm, one. Good. I'm going, to chain. I'm going to go chains on this one because the offense would have to score. Look at that chain. It looks pretty good. I like it. We'd have to score twice in the first quarter. I think Miami will get two, two um, takeaways in the first half. I think they will get Chase Price. I think, you know, sometimes you go up against an opponent where you get into their head. You have their number, and I think Miami might have the number of Chase Price. Now, this last one could very much determine which way the game goes. Mm -hmm. The offense converts more third downs, or the defense has more tackles for losses. Now, Hurricanes defense averages about, traditionally, about nine tackles for loss per game. Correct. I'm going with the defense has more tackles for loss. I think they're going to be amped up, and this defense is going to, it, it's got to make up some ground from what happened last week. I think they're going to be inspired. If I go more third down conversions, that means they're converting about nine third downs in this game. <laughs> that would be an easy win, so I'm going to go with the rings. I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to say Miami has a uh, solution, the third down defense of uh, Appalachian State, and I'm going to go rings, and I'm going to say uh, it's a big day for the Miami offense. I hope you're right. It works either way for us. It's going to be a hard-fought uh, game. Mm -hmm. Appalachian State coming in with a bit of a chip on their shoulder. For H Hurricanes head coach Manny Diaz and Don Bailey Jr., I am Joe Zagacki. We will see you next time here on the Manny Diaz Show. If you train like a pro, then you should be treated like a pro. Much like the human body, our team of sports medicine experts moves as one to achieve a singular goal. Recover your game. They cheer, they yell, they scream for the best moves. And the Miami Hurricanes are gonna show you why they'll dominate the field this season. But for the best moves off the field, Good Greek Moving and Storage is the team you can rely on. We ensure a stress-free move on time and on budget, locally or nationwide. And now, Good Greek is the official mover of the Miami Hurricanes. Let Good Greek be your official mover too. Good Greek Moving and Storage, your superhero movers, 